Huh? Hey! Hey! Yeah! Yeah! Oh. Welcome to another Ramble mm. Radio, motherfucker. Mm. Oh, video. Okay. Okay. Video. Okay. It it is. But as much as Matt Gates apparently likes seventeen year old girls, <laughs> loves them. and and Puerto Rican boys that he can okay. adopt. Do you think the seventeen year old girl was the cover up for the sixteen year old Puerto Rican? That's boy? That's what I want to know. Which is which? One which of them is the cover up. The other one, right? <laughs> but here we are. Uh, it's ra- It's also radio, Eddie. As much as you, to your, Man. much to your chagrin, my chagrin and disbelief. Your chagrin and disbelief. It's also radio, and wow, you think it's just us? It is. Who else would you, it be? You'd be dead wrong. Cody and the motherfucker. Cody. There it's we go. Via Fania. Via Fania right here. Via Fania. Man. That's a great wrestler's name. Via Fania. That's Cody. it. That's you come in. Just Via Fania. Fania. Like Batista. Just Via Fania. <laughs> I think that'd be good. I think Cody, you got to think about this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Switch careers. Like Get into you wrestling. Try. Yeah, fuck you. You know what, what? Okay, when you were a young man wrestling, mm-hmm. Eddie and Cody, too, you, we all grew up liking wrestling. Mm-hmm. Uh, I had no siblings, so I would wrestle pillows or little cousins when I would go visit them or older <laughs> cousins at times. We'd have, we would have royal rumbles on my cousin Eric's bed and just throw <laughs> each throw other, each other off. off the bed. Yes. So many kids went head first into fucking <laughs> furniture and shit. Like, <laughs> I was wrestling my brother in our in my room. I was probably a guy. I was in middle school, so he was either yeah. in six. He might have been in sixth grade. He's two years younger than me. Yeah. And I picked him up into a pile driver on my bed. I had a, tw- I had a little twin bed in my room, mm-hmm. and I just I pile drove him, and the bed just went boom down to the floor. And we're like, "Oh fuck! Oh fuck! We broke the bed!" Because it was like summer and parents were working. Like we're just home big alone. Big show, Braun Strowman. When they destroyed we broke the, the ring. ring, you broke the ring, and we're like, "Oh fuck! Oh fuck! We broke the bed! We broke the bed!" So, like, we're tearing the bed apart, seeing if we can, like, figure out how to duct tape yep. the lats back together. Right. And I had actually, the metal frame was actually bent in a V shape. Oh, my God. And we were God. like, oh, we're so fucked. And, and so we had, like, you? four hours to figure out how to straighten this V thing. It was. Did you were able to pull it off? We pulled it off. They never knew. Wow. They never knew. To this day. To this day, they don't know that happened. Wow. Amazing. It was. What was uh, your. Wow, Impressive. Cody, what would you what would your finisher have been, Cody, as a kid? What would you want your finisher to have been? Oh, you I mean, I grew up in the attitude era, so yep. so the stunner was a Ooh, was a big a one, one, I uh. think. I mean the, the, the finisher of choice. I don't I never invented my own finisher. Eddie, did you invent your own finisher? Yeah, I had <laughs> this was <laughs> got it. This was probably in grade school. I wasn't as creative as I am now. I uh, Of course. I I, right. cre- I called it the uh, the Edster move. <laughs> <laughs> And because Hulkster, I was the Edster. The Edster so it was the I Edster like move. And yep. it was basically, uh, I would, you would be sitting down, like you got knocked down, you're sitting on your butt, and I would come right. up behind you, yep. right? And I would put my legs over your shoulders. So my, my crotch is in the back of your yeah. head, right? Yes. And then I would just roll back and I would grab your legs as and you rolled pinned. back. And then you're pinned. And then my, I did it to my brother. And then he invented the Max. My brother's name is Mac. He would invent. Right. He called it the Maxter way to get out of it. Was his. Oh. Was his counter to the Edster move, where he would <laughs> just continue to keep rolling and then end up sitting on my face, and then I would get pinned. Brilliant. So, yeah. but the only problem is Mac was in trouble had he wrestled anyone else. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he only had he one do? defense against the Edster move. Everything else, you could take him out with an arm bar. Right. <laughs> right. Mine was a power slam off the top rope. Wow. Did yeah. you ever deliver that on anybody? That seems uh, pretty impressive. One of my little cousins, I got him. Yeah, but it was. <laughs> <laughs> I climbed on the dresser next to my aunt's bed and, and held him up. And just did uh, the power. <laughs> he loved it. He thought it was the most fun thing ever. I was way better doing it to pillows, though. It was way easier with pillows. Mm. My variant was I thought logically that might be kind of tough to carry somebody. Up to the top over, rope. Up to, so I would, I would climb. I, the, the ropes were my sofa, right? Uh-huh. And so I would climb up to the top with my back to the ring and then do like a f- turn slam. Ah, like a spinning, that's not bad. Yeah, very I would, I would, I, I would body slam pillows into the middle of the living room and then I would climb up on the chair Brilliant. and do the Macho Man elbow. Yes. I did that over and over and over again. 
I was very lucky. I had an aunt who taught home ec in high school. She's a home ec high school teacher. So she, she sewed me my own trunks. Oh, that's nice. Um, I had like Nacho Libre. Trunk. I had my own. Tr- yes, I had my own trunks. You're Nacho never- Libre. That's awesome. They were neon, these neon green spandex trunks. <laughs> and I bet, and I, I was, oh, I was able to convince my mother to get me, Ugh. even though I never rode a bicycle, I never skate. Hey, fuck yeah, there you go. There it is. I have one somewhere. I have, I have, a, I, I have a, 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 a lucha mask somewhere. I got to go. Oh, fuck yes. We, Eddie, we have to wait. Should I get it now? You might as well. Cody, you your thoughts? Nearby. Yeah, I think you're obligated at this point. <laughs> All right, I got to go gra- see if I can find it real quick. But, yeah, so my aunt made me my, my, my neon green spandex trunks that I would wear. And hold well, on. Oh, that would I go guess. with this mask. It really would. Do I go? All right, let me. I'll be right. It might take like a minute. So just <laughs> give me one minute. But I'm going to be right back. We're doing this shit. A new air- oh, Cody, where's yours, buddy? Cody's sorry. Paul Ellering. Yeah, sorry. He's the manager. <laughs> oh, the managers don't have luchador masks. I don't think so. Do they? I don't Should know. they? This thing is really mm. tight. <laughs> it, it doesn't look like it's too comfortable. It's not comfortable, and it laces in the back. Can you loosen it? No. <laughs> I can make it tighter. <laughs> oh, it's not bad though. Yeah. I mean, uh, so did did this come with any kind of identity? Like, did you have like a? No, I like just saw it. I think I saw. I went down to. Uh, you have you been to LA before? I haven't. No. There's a, a, a Jerry would know this. There's like the the original street that was in Los Angeles. It's like this really old little street tucked into the city, and I think it's called uh, Alvarado Street, and it's just all these like little Mexican shops. Like it's very like a lot of Mexican restaurants, like really good authentic Mexican food. And they just have like these little kiosks all the way down it, and they, there's just one that's just nothing but wrestling masks. I'm sure I could find one at like a flea market here locally. Yeah, we have a lot of those types of <laughs> those types of shops. I think if the flea market's squeezing here. my head <laughs> so tight. Oh, well, I don't think I don't think Jerry's gonna find it. Oh well, oh. it was buried in the closet. I'm gonna save it for the next ram next ramble radio. I'm doing it. Oh, then I'm taking the. I was telling uh. Uh, Cody, about uh, it was, it's Alvarado Street, right? What here in Los Angeles, the old the old original street in Los Angeles. I believe that's so. that's where I got this. Oh fuck yeah, that's authentic, dude. <sighs> that thing is authentic, authentic like a. Well, all right, all right. <laughs> Let's get down to brass tacks. We have a Hall of Fame to What's that? jump right. We have a Hall of Fame to jump right back. Oh, in. that's right, yeah. we do. So. Cody, uh, right, let's just announce it. We, in the L. Ron Hubbard room clearing dump stall of fame, we have L. Ron Hubbard, Ernest Borgnine, Fritz von Erich, Dan Deerdorf, Alex Karras, Roseanne Barr, Dusty Rhodes, Meatloaf, Orson Welles, Marlon Brando, John Madden, and our newest entry, John Candy. Oh, mm-hmm. now up for controversial, voting. controversial, controversial new entry. boy. Up for voting, we have Wilford Brimley, Kathleen Turner, John Goodman, Andre the Giant, Hervé Villachez, and Honey. Boo boo boo! Mm-hmm. Wow, that's so a class Cody, in itself. Yeah. It is, Cody. Who are you tossing in this, this today? Look, normally I talk a lot and talk them up, but this time, no bullshit. I'm going right with it. Guy Fieri. Oh! Wow! 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 Man, that's huge! Huge! Wow! How, how is how is no, this is the how has no one thought of this? Yeah. Entrant, Eddie. I, I mean, that's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah. Guy Fieri. You know the the amount of shit he's eating oh. on a day to day basis. Oh. Yeah. It's got to come out. Traveling it's the country. Such a big way. <laughs> Ever going everywhere. <laughs> ah. Oh. Oh wow. Um, Eddie, mine from the the guy. I'm I'm gonna throw uh, his hat in the ring. I know it's a long shot. I don't think he's gonna probably get in this time around. But I think okay. at some point he will. Maybe Because um, like by, by looking at him, he doesn't look like a Hall of Fame dumper. Okay. Okay. But. Just knowing the the personality he brought to the screen to every role I ever saw him do. Okay. Um, Don Knotts. Oh mm. wow! He just Wild had such card. he had such energy with, with Mister with Mister <laughs> Furley, with uh, with the Andrew Griffith show. Oh, he he made it his. He stole whatever scene he was in. So I can't imagine him not stealing whatever stall he's in. How could he not? How could he not? <laughs> Could he not? I just, I just think so. I don't. 
I, that's just my opinion. <laughs> All right, so mine, I don't know if I'm getting the title right, but I'm going to go the Reverend T.D. Jakes. I'm going to go T.D. Jakes. I'm gonna say, <laughs> is he the Reverend? Do you anyone know? I got to look him up. <laughs> is it the Reverend T.D. Jakes? But I guarantee you that dude. Boy, he'll, yes. clear out, he'll clear out a super church real quick when he sits down on that stall. Oh, yes. Yes, he will. <laughs> wow. So yeah, I'm going to go T.D. Jakes. That will clear a congregation in a second. Deion Sanders, spiritual advisor, when Deion yeah. went, T. D. went Jakes. born again. T.D. Jakes. So now up for voting so far for this month, we have Wilford Brimley, Kathleen Turner, John Goodman, Andre the Giant, Hervé Villachez, Honey Boo Boo, Guy Fieri, <laughs> Don Knotts, and td jakes andrea since you're here is there anyone off the top of your head we could just throw in there if you want oh, no. no you're taking a break this time you're abstaining it's she's, every she's time staining? She's, never at, she's, absta- she's staining she's staining she's staining the vote <laughs> <laughs> anyone come to mind any celebrity no <laughs> No, we're we're male, female. Wow, she's really thinking about this. You should wow. see her. She is. well, she 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 got her person in the first try. So she did. You got one in first try. What's that? I think this is important. Stop. It is important. You can't just fuck around. No, no. fuck no, you can't. You don't just not willy nilly. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. Wow, Andrea has now put in Luciano Pavarotti. Wow. Her choice. One of the tenors. Wow. wow. <laughs> so we're going to throw him in there. That's who you meant, right? <laughs> she said he would sing while dumping. That's impressive. So let's add Luciano Pavarotti. <laughs> One of the tenors. Wow. Wow. One of the three tenors. Man. So there she goes. So now again. Joining our legacies of Brimley, Turner, Goodman, Andre the Giant, Hervé, Honey Boo Boo. We have Guy Fieri, Don Knotts, T.D. Jakes, and Luciano Pavarotti. <laughs> he, might have uh, he might have catapulted himself right in. Andrea might have just fucking shot her way to the top right there. <laughs> wow. Well, man. So there we go. Get, uh, Cody will do voting, what, the end of April? Is that right? Is that This is for April, right? Yeah, we might have a packed like line up for that so we might do it a little bit sooner just to clear it out a little bit <laughs> clear out the, no <laughs> yeah. pun intended i need to push some through and make room uh, plunge them out <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck i love it i love it um well there we go i have to, I, i'm very excited for my uh picks for my next two i really am like i, I i'm excited oh, I just who's wait. she measuring for another billy she is measuring for another Billy shelf. Thank God. Yes. We're going to put more toys up. She's measuring for a new. Yes. Bed. I wish it's all kitchen shit. So. We're oh, come on. For this healthy eating nonsense that will hopefully make me not die. So toys I'm gonna have to make you happy and let you live longer. I know. I know. I thank you. Oh, well, there we go. So, uh, Eddie, I hate to do this. Oh, man. Because this is a good one. We talked wrestling. Hold on. Yeah. So, I, yeah. I mean, we can't. We have to address here that this may. I mean, the last time we saw who we're about to cut to, the yeah. circumstances were very different than they normally yes. are. Yes, they yes. are. Um, um, I are they? I, I I assume they they still have more to say. I don't know. Are they letting it, this go? Is he letting this go? Is I think it might just be him today, but I don't think they're letting it go. Okay. Um, I don't think they are letting it go, but I think if I could, if I could see clear, I think it's just him. I think. Right. What do you see, Eddie? No, I, it looks like it's just him. All right. I guess we'll just. I guess. We, I guess. I don't know what to ask him because I don't know if he's gonna. All right. I'll just ask him. Um, uh, I'll, okay. Skeletor. Um, we know you were very upset uh, on last Tuesday's Ramble Radio. Oh, was he ever? Uh, you brought out uh, some guys we hadn't seen in a while. Um, have you moved on? Have you have you accepted the results of the tournament and moved on? Uh, well, Eddie, that's a wonderful question. I'm happy you asked. No, I haven't moved on. We're fucking pissed. Uh, however, the uh, the voting, the company who made the voting. 
you know, whatever the fuck you call it, they are now suing us for defamation. Oh. Uh, Dex had to put up the diner in order to pay legal fees. Hordak is crashing with me in Snake Mountain, and I fucking can't stand it. It's, it's a, but we're not giving up. We're fighting to the bitter end. You haven't seen the last of us. You haven't seen the last of this. Jorge Villachez will come back. And uh, are you ready for this one, gang? Jorge Villachez, we have it on good authority, will be inducted into the stall of fame on April 5th with none other than John F. Kennedy Jr. He will ride. He was never dead. He's going to be with him. It's going to be the two of them. That's going to push Hervé over the top. We'll have more on it soon. It's going to fucking happen. Okay. Wow. He's, uh, wow. he's, oh, I, be he's become unhinged. He really has. This thing, I wonder, this thing I wonder if, his legal if his legal team isn't there because they're working with Matt Gates right now. And that's, oh, that's, that's, an, that's an interesting... Matt Gates could not find a better legal team. Look, if anyone was fucking anyone who was 17, it was Dex. It wasn't Gates. So we're going to try to, you know, push that narrative forward and, uh, and save Gates' budding career. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. All, right. All right. Okay. So they're going to pin it on Dex. I, yeah, that's yes, that's I the mean, legal defense. Well, maybe Coruscant's a non-extradition planet. <laughs> that might be it. That, so maybe, yeah, I bet that is. That's, that's probably... probably that's, I mean, that has That's to probably be. probably what they're trying to do. I mean, look what he's done to all these younglings for all these years. You really think they give a fuck over there? That's why we're doing this. It's a very sound strategy. Well, it's true. Okay. He's got a point. It's, he's yeah. got a great point. The Dex was still able to operate and own a diner. Oh, man. While confessing to multiple crimes. You should see the shit. He texts me. Really. I have to delete it the minute I get it. All right. Okay. It's not helping your case. No, not helping not at, at all. all. <laughs> this is not good. Oh, oh sh well, I guess uh, so. We, maybe Hervey goes in with JFK Jr. now. I guess on April 5th. <laughs> on I April guess 5th. make it, that's, circle we'll, it on the calendar. We'll have to see. I don't even know if that's a Raise the rates at Snake Mountain. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Let's see that will that will be a Monday, so we'll know on R Tuesday's Ramble Radio oh, if he's been inducted. We're gonna have a big, big lot of questions coming for Skeletor. Then I hope he he might have bitten off more than he can chew. But yeah. right. Cody, where I hate, I'm really sorry. You got to. That's this just the way it goes. Uh, so you can find me at Cinesom Cody on Twitter, uh, and then find the Cinesom Podcast ReMCU and Corn Stream wherever you get your podcasts. And then also, if you want to follow me on Letterboxd, it's a hey. social media uh, site to track what movies you're watching. Letterboxd.com slash Cinesom Cody. Fuck yeah, man! Y'all nice. follow all that shit, Eddie. Uh, Patreon.com, the Ralph Report, five Ooh. days a week. Uh, then Tuesdays, Fridays, we got Ramble Radio. Uh, Wednesdays, we got Ramble Proper, and then Thursdays, we have Good Willow Hunting. Boom! There it is. Look <clears> at <throat> that. Our badassedness. And yesterday, we talked Back to the Future. How exciting is that? So excited. So if exciting. we did, if we did, if then we did, it was awesome. we talked it yesterday. It was awesome. If that makes sense. If not, we'll do it next week. Oh, it'll happen. Next Whatever week. happened, it's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> You can see every see me every Monday as a smug nerd on my social media with Eddie as my director. Uh, hopefully soon I'll be getting back to posting YouTube videos on my YouTube channel on Thursdays. And on Monday, I, I, every night except Saturday, I'm on Twitch, twitch.tv TV, forward slash Retro Rocha playing retro video games. But on Monday, Cody and I play sporting games. Mm -hmm. And I think out of just the pure frustration of how bad <laughs> the, the CPU control defense is in NBA 2, we might be retired. Look. Yeah, yeah. It was, <laughs> you know, do you know how, okay, I won the game Monday night. Do you know how, Eddie? How? I just got lucky and made like three more layups than Cody did because the middle was wide open <laughs> every time. Like the minute anyone would just get, right, Cody? The minute you got past the three-point line. Just, it would just part. The defense <laughs> would part. The defense would part. And it's so easy to just dribble past. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, Jerry well, Jerry like, shot like seventy five percent from the field because oh, all he would do is just hard just hard to lay lose it up, that way. Lay it up it's, right over the middle. It, it was and, and we so Cody was the uh, who were you, Cody? You were it was a classic team. It was, oh, uh, I was the eighty five eighty six Pistons. He I was think. the Bad Boys Pistons. I was the uh, Penny Shack Orlando Magic. Oh wow. Penny Hardaway had like ninety points. I just like <laughs> Is that it Nick was, Anderson, Penny Hardaway, Nick Anderson, the great Horace uh, Grant, Horace Dennis Grant, Scott, the great Dennis Scott. Yeah, oh, that Dennis was Scott. A, yeah, that was uh, so that it, it was horrific. It was her. The, the, this we were both Cody and I were both took turns screaming. I don't think <laughs> the bad boys the, ever left the paint ever, <laughs> ever. Like that was the thing. Like, there's no way you're driving in on any. But it was, yeah, it was insane. Like, it was like we we were both like, how the fuck is this wide open every goddamn time? <laughs> it was just that's all it took was I got lucky and made like three more layups and Cody did. That's all it was. Penny Hardaway though had a had a night. Penny Hardaway had did he a have career. a night? He went off. <laughs> yeah, Anthony had a good one. Oh man, so there we go. So, but yeah, so join us. Follow all of our shit. Thank you for tuning in. Spread the word. Pick your favorites because it's we're back, baby. This stall of fame. The tournament's over. Tournament's not coming back until uh, next year. So yeah. we are back to just we're going to we're getting them. funding right now for a brick and mortar hall of stall of fame. It's, we're going to try gonna to get be, it's it's going to be crazy. It's, it's going to be, be built immense. We can't wait. It's the, it's going to be beautiful. Do we see if we can just use one of the wings of the Scientology headquarters out here? Yeah, maybe. maybe. I mean, we I can think try so. and ask them, like, hey, this is paying tribute to Come you. On, or we can try to tie it. it into, you know, Ohio has a lot of Hall of Fames there. And That's then the, right. the Browns, so we have wow. the tie-in. Wow. It's all perfect. This is it. Look at this. Well, thank you for tuning in. Have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe. We love you all. You know where to find us. Go find us. We'll see you next week, baby. <clears throat> Have a good one. We love you guys. Take care, everybody. Bye.